Okay, so we're going to take apart this uh, carburetor from the Poulan chainsaw. First of all, I want to show you the kits available for that carburetor. Now, as mentioned earlier, it's a WT324 model. And when you go to get a repair kit, this is the number that you need to tell the dealer to get your parts. Now, there's two kits for that carburetor. The difference is one's called D10 Watt, and this one here only has the diaphragms. This kit is a little cheaper to buy, and usually you can get by with just buying this kit. This other kit here is a K10 watt, and the difference with that is that, is that there is a couple extra diaphragms in this kit, and also contains the needle, the lever, the little Welsh plug, the screen. So if you're doing a major overhaul kit, this is the kit you want to get. You can uh, usually buy, I buy all my kits from mowersforyou.com on the internet. It's uh, pretty well the cheapest place to get them, and they're all Waldboro OEM parts. So first of all, you need a good Phillips screwdriver, and a flathead screwdriver as well. I'm going to start by removing the top screw here, and that's where the pump diaphragm is. So there might be a bit of gas come out when you do this. So you want a nice clean area. I put a shop towel here to keep everything clean. So there we go. You remove that. That's the pump diaphragm there. I see it's got a little bits of gas on it. So I'm going to put that down. So I'm going to put that in a nice neat order because when you go to put it back together it's a heck of a lot easier. Now I'm going to look inside here. You look inside here for dirt and stuff like that. That's where the little screen goes here. It's pretty clean there. So I'm going to turn it over and remove the four screws here. So now I've got all four screws removed and with your hands you want to gently pry up the cover. Now if it hasn't been taken apart for a long time and may be stuck there and you might need just a small screwdriver to pry it up, but I was able to do it without that. So this is the metering diaphragm, so if you're doing an overhaul kit you'd want to remove it. And there you can see the needle in there and the lever. That's the other side of the diaphragm kit. Always make sure this side goes down. And if you're doing a total overhaul kit, you would remove this gasket here as well. Always make sure this gasket is down on the carburetor first. If you're doing a complete overhaul kit and you're replacing the needle and the lever and everything, you would want to remove this screw here. If it doesn't work with the Phillips screwdriver, use a flathead screwdriver because the screw can strip very easy. You don't have to take the screw completely out. And I've got a, a work area here where all my parts are laid out. So I'm just going to flip it over. There's a little spring that came out. You don't want to lose that. You may want to put all this in a small container or on a nice clean area. So there you go. You've got this side of the carburetor, which everything has been removed pretty well. Now on this side, there's that little screen in this hole here that if you're doing a complete overhaul, you may want to replace it as well. It may look clean sometimes, but sometimes the gas varnishes and clogs the screen even though it may look clean. I've had this problem before. Now to remove the little screen in there, you may want to get a little pick like this you may want to sharpen it on your grinder before and you just slide it in there and go gently pick it and then come up and there you go it's out so here I've got everything out you want to make you want to make sure that the little hole in here you should be able to see through that the other side see there and on the other side of that is the needle so if you can see through that that means it's clean you may want to shoot some carburetor cleaner in all these holes here. I'll just do that right now. 
So I'm just going to make sure that all these holes here are clean and spray them. Now if your carb's really dirty, like really varnicized, which you're going to see spots of gooey gas, you may want to leave it soak overnight, maybe in a can full of uh, carburetor cleaner. And uh, this here is a little valve here, inside here. It's a one-way valve usually. So I'm just going to spray everything, all the holes here, even in here. And you should see gas coming out of another hole. It, this carburetor is clean, so I'm not going to do too, too much. But make sure everything's clean. You can run a little wire in here. It is clean. I'm going to spray where the needle goes, and you should see gas coming out of here. Yeah, so it's clean. You want to make sure that all the crevices in here are clean. Sometimes there'll be dirt there or varnicized gas. Also, this thing here, you want to make sure that's clean.